I'm back here, and this is our food pantry for the city of Owasa. Jeanette North knows what it's like to rely on donations to fill a critical need. And if you'll show right here, the potatoes, totally empty. Crackers, totally empty. Only one can of ham left on the shelves. Jeanette oversees Owasso Community Resources, a charity that provides food for dozens of families in Owasso and helps pay utility bills. She appreciates others helping her. So, when someone from Grant-A-Wish called, asking for her support, she was quick to pledge $50. But, after she hung up, I thought, hmm, I think that's Make-A-Wish. Make-A-Wish, the nation's largest wish-granting organization and an established charity since 1980. She'd never heard of Grant-A-Wish, so Jeanette contacted Make-A-Wish and sent a check to them instead. And then about two weeks later, they called me like a bill collector. Where's our money? This was Grant-A-Wish calling Yes, you. and I said, well, I wanted it to go to Make-A-Wish, so I went ahead and gave it to Make-A-Wish, and they click. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Yeah. Nobody yeah, there? No one there. Rick Brinkley with the Better Business Bureau says it's amazingly easy to start a charity. There is very little oversight. So it's up to people like Jeanette. When they get a call, do a little homework. How much of the money is really going to the cause? Because there are, there are diseases not being cured. There are children not being helped because there are people out there lining their pockets. When there's so much need for, uh, you know, charities that are true charities, for the money to go to someone that's just in it to make the money, I say there's a special little place in hell for those people, you know.